You are listening to the Daily Homily for Magdala in the Holy Land. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not start off for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and decay destroy, and thieves break in and steal. But start up treasures in, in heaven, where neither moth or decay destroys, nor thieves break in and steal. For where your for where your treasure is, there also will your heart be. The lamp of your body is the eye. If your eye is sound, your whole body will be filled with light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be in darkness. And if the light in you is darkness, how great will the darkness be? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This gospel invites us, invite us, us to reflect how are we dealing with material goods. The material goods are positive, but the problem is uh, when we have an unbalanced uh, relationship with, with them. And that's the problem of greed. That's why in the tradition of the church, uh, greed is always uh, one of the seven capital sins. When we have the treasures, the material goods, as end in themselves, and not something to use. And this unbalance, it's a, it's a problem, obviously, because we live for the treasures on earth, and we, for, and we can forgive some things, the treasures in heaven, the eternity, the beatitude. And we have our heart here on earth and not anymore in heaven. And I think that's, that, that's the problem that this gospel points out. And the saint we are celebrating today fits perfectly with this preaching, fits perfectly with this point. We are celebrating today the feast, the memory of St. Aloysius Gonzaga. He was a prince, he was born in a noble family in Italy in the 17th century. He was the firstborn of this uh, aristocratic family. He was supposed to inherit the titles and all the goods of the family. He spent some years in Florence, in the Florence of the Medici family, and he got disappointed because of the frivolity he saw in the court. He came back and he started to, to listen uh, some uh, religious, book, religious books, and he felt the vocation to the priesthood. Obviously, his father was opposed to this vocation, but he, he remained firmly in his decision, and when uh, his father saw that his decision was already made, he at least wanted him to join the, the secular priest, the secular priesthood, so that, he, so that he could inherit some things, so that, he could, so, so that he could have some titles. But he said, not. I want to join the religious life. He joined the Jesuits. He went to Rome to study. And a disease uh, spread in Rome. And he died because of that disease. Uh, he was even a priest, he was just a seminarian. And he died, and he was beatified. And today, we are celebrating the memory of this saint, the patron of youth in the Catholic Church. So somebody who start up in heaven and not on earth. He had the possibility of starting up on earth but he denied that for the kingdom of heaven. And we are celebrating today his memory after, after many years of his death. And I can ask you, how many princes of that time do you remember? Nobody. We are remembering the, we are celebrating the memory of a young man who decided to start up in heaven and on earth. So we can see the results 
of following the gospel. Even from a human point of view, he gained because he, he, he's remember, he, he was remembered and he's remembered still um, over the years. So let us pray so that we can learn from this example of uh, today's memory of uh, San, uh, San, Alo San Aloysius so that we can follow his example, start up in heaven and none more on earth. Thank you for joining us today. If you want to learn more about Magdala, follow us on YouTube and on Facebook.